Well, let's put a little trade on, shall we? And a warm welcome to one and all. And if this is your first time here, that's a big fella. That is the scruffy trader. What I'm trying to do is put trading in the real world. Maybe show you a trick or two along the way. So if that sounds good, do take a second to hit that little subscribe button. Genuinely helps. And if you find value, do hit the super thanks and the like button. Genuinely keeps the lights on and the channel on air. So what am I doing today? Well, as usual, I've opened my big mouth. And uh, now I'm going to back it up. And um, why is that? Well, I'm looking at the pound Swissy. Now, it's not something that I trade a great deal, um, if at all. However, if I show you, in my bias, which I, I do each morning, it's pulled out as being ready for the nine o'clock candle. It's currently half past nine. Um, it's telling me to buy it. And I'm kind of in two minds with it. But what I've done is, as usual, I've done a breakdown of it, you know, and I've posted that up for the guys. So they can see exactly what it is that I'm about to get up to before I take the trade, which is what I'm going to do now. Now, it's coming into a red zone. Now, up here is the ideal point. It's actually... It's in not a bad position, to be honest. I can probably get a few pips out of this now. However, what I'm going to have a tendency to do with this is just wait ever so slightly. Um, I, I want to see it relax a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the orders backwards here, here, and down here somewhere. Um, just because I think it's on the cusp and it's going to come back. Now... What I'm also looking for is kind of a minimum of 10 pips. So if I just draw a little box of 10 pips. There, that'll do. That kind of shows you roughly what I'm after. All right. So if I enter here, get into the red box, 10 pips, five or a pip, 50 quid. All right. But the further down it goes, the more chance I have coming up. No. The problem with this trade is, if I come out to the hourly, you'll see it's in a in a down move here. And if you go right out, you can see it's been in a range of sort and it broke out to the bottom side. But the reason why I like the idea of it going to the upper side is that candle there. All right. No. Because that's telling me there's a lot of pressure to the upper side. Um, you can see that just there and then that's a good set of retracement with that now i've worked out in the hourly some decent sort of entry exit points which is what the blue lines are and i'm going to work my way up to this black line here and it's monday i don't like trading monday anything i get today is bonus so for me anything over 50 quid is a result you know and it's that simple and I was queried on that the other day. Why Why 50 quid? Well, because it's 10 pips. 10 pips is a decent move. It's all I need. And I'm not greedy. And if greed takes over and you're chasing money, well, sadly, guys, you'll always be chasing it. It's a process. And Monday is a hard day. It's a real hard day. And Monday morning is the worst day to trade, you know. But I have opened my mouth. I have to back it up and that's everything i do on this channel if i say something i will carry it out it's that simple so let me run the trade uh i'll leave it down on a five minute chart so you can see the orders coming and going there you are it's starting to, to recede now so this is the better of where i want to be um but i'll be happy here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to let the price come down hopefully get underneath it 
and then I'll start putting orders in there there and I'll do madness right the way down you know because there is a breach point and I'm happy to stage all the way down into this green zone if it goes through the green zone I'm wrong and I'm out all right simple stuff guys so there we go happy days Okay guys, it's stopped me out. I did pull the stops in pretty tight. Why is that? I've done enough for the day. And I can't stress this enough. Trading is just about being paid. My job is to extract money from the markets. That's it. I'm not in it to be a hero. I'm not in it to hold on to trades any longer than I have to. And when, when we watch things, I often get a little bit disillusioned with the chitter chatter um what is industry industry is to make a profit and that profit pays for a wage well that's all i'm here for i just want a wage for me and juan and that's it you know so what have we got well a little bit of thought thick end of 300 quid um there was a opportunity came up with uh the dax no i had informed the guys already um as you can see there on the sheet came in told me it was b grade at 10 o'clock had to wait a little bit and i was just monitoring it over the course of the hour because it's just gone 11 o'clock the opportunity came i took it now i also do let the guys know you know up here so at half past 10, they could say exactly what I was doing. Uh, they know what these lines and the indicators are and the way that I look at Fibonacci. So they knew at that point I was ready to rock and roll. Okay. And that's what trading is all about. And that's how I keep it fair. Uh, I won't trade for anybody. But I don't mind telling them what I'm up to. And then it's up to them what they do with their trade. Now, Today's analysis was quite simple, you know. Um, all we're looking for constantly is the waves. You now you can count waves, you can look at levels, you can look for stretch points on Bollinger Bands, on oscillators, all these different things. But ultimately, your levels will be king. Why? Because that's where they're going to be tested. Um, let me just flick this back, I'll show you. Um, if I crunch this up a little bit, Each one of them stalled bang on the level that I put in, that I marked in, okay, to the pip every time, okay. And you can see when it clusters, it clusters very close to the levels that I put in, all right. Why are these important? But well, even if I come back out to the hourly and you see some of the bigger levels that are in these, they test constantly and stall at these points it's a roadmap 
and if you can have a road map it's almost like a sat nav all you've got to do is point yourself in the right direction and you know where the price is going it has to go to one of those levels well, it doesn't have to but it'll get very bloody close to it why because they're like magnet points psychological levels if you like and that's the art of trading guys it's mapping a destination and then slowly working your way towards it simple stuff and that's about it for today really um, if you're stuck you've got questions do drop it in the comments below um, i'm going to enjoy my coffee because my beautiful wife has just brought me one because we all know scruffy likes a coffee and he's even got it in a scruffy trader cup look at that hey impressed with them now so life's good and it's going to be even better tomorrow because uh, i'm going to take wednesday off because our blackpool trip had a little bit of a, an error bruiser decided to throw a fit and it kind of spoiled half the day so i'm going to carry on the holiday tomorrow i'm taking winky to a nice hotel uh, we're gonna have a jolly old time of things and i might be in a jolly state on wednesday morning so i'm gonna have the day off so what what state are you gonna be in i'm fine You'll be fine. Mm -hmm. She'll be fine. Hey, hey, hey. You got that bikini? Fantastic. We're going in. We we are going swimming. We're going in a in a spa. So happy days. And that's what trading does for you. It gives you freedom to do whatever you want, when you want. So as always, guys, trade well, keep your risk managed, but above all, do what you love. And the money will follow. See you all in the next one.